Hello, and welcome to this tutorial of how to create an asterisk server dashboard in 10 minutes. Asterisk PBX is used by many businesses today and is an excellent choice for many types of businesses and needs. Asterisk is powered by some very rich features, and you would pay more than 10,000 US dollars for other platforms and PBX systems. But one of the big problems in Asterisk platforms is that they are very complicated to work with and need the user to have an in-depth knowledge about settings. One of the essential capabilities in any telephone system is reporting and monitoring. You can find a simple report and dashboard bundled with some copies of Asterisk. For example, you can only have a few number of dashboards and reports in the Elastics or some other ones in the Asterisk Now or Free PBX, but none of them give you a comprehensive idea of what has happened actually in your company and never cover all calls. For example, in Free PBX, you can use the report section for incoming and outgoing calls in a simple table as shown here. In this video, I want to show you how you can create an asterisk server dashboard in 10 minutes. If you are here for this reason, then follow along with my instructions step by step. Step number one, sign up in PBX DOM at the following link. Step number two, after confirming your account by clicking on the link sent to your email, you will be redirected to set up page on PBX DOM website. Step number three, before beginning, you will need number one, administrator access to the computer on which you will install. Number two, ability to configure the firewall to allow the collector to send data to PBX DOM. Number three, Know about your PBX available connectivity options and needed hardware. Number four, run setup.exe as administrator by right clicking on setup.exe and selecting the run as administrator option. Number five, make sure nothing is blocking your access to the internet. Number six, if you're behind the firewall, PBX DOM collector software uses the following TCP IP ports TCP 80. 443, 13, 37, UDP 123, and number 7, make sure no Windows policy or antivirus program is preventing the execution of the collector. You can exclude PBX DOM collector's executable files and the entire application directory. Step number 4, download the collector software by clicking on the download button and go to the next step. Step number 5, Install collector software and copy your license key and paste it into your collector and press the register button. After your collector is registered successfully, press the start button on your collector. Step number six. In this step, you will see the following window. If you successfully registered your collector and started it, after a few seconds, the PBX collector registration status changes from not registered to registered and collector connection status from not connected to connected like the following window. Now you can click on the next button. Step number seven, select asterisk from the vendor list. Select asterisk from the model list and click on the next button. Step number eight, click on LAN connection and click on the next button. Step number nine, select only your time zone and leave other settings as set by default. Step number 10, Enter your asterisk server IP address in the host field and leave other settings as set by default. You have to enter your extensions and trunks here. If you did not enter them, the PBX DOM can't identify them correctly and you can't see anything on your dashboard. For finding your extensions and trunks list, you can use the GUI web console or you can use the following command in your asterisk server. Finally, to send settings to your collector, click on Send Settings to the Collector Software button. After the settings are successfully sent to your collector, you should see the following message and you can click on the next button. Step 11. On Windows, you can find information about how to configure your asterisk server accepting connection from the collector server. For configuring your asterisk server, connect to your asterisk by PuTTY or any SSH client. Enter your asterisk server IP address and click on the Open button. If it's the first time you are trying to connect your asterisk server from your machine, you see a warning message as illustrated here. You should click on Yes to continue. 
When connected, enter your username and password for your asterisk server. After connection to server, edit forward slash etc forward slash asterisk forward slash cdr underscore manager dot conf with the following command and press enter key. In the editor, change enabled to yes in the general section. To enable editing mode, press I key on your keyboard and to finish it, press escape. For save type, WQ and enter. Edit forward slash etc forward slash asterisk forward slash manager dot conf and add a new line after admin section with the following command. Move cursor to the end of file and write the following lines. For save type, WQ and enter. Restart your asterisk server by the following command. After configuring your asterisk server, click on next button on PBX DOM wizard. Step number 12. In the next window, you should wait till all the calls data gets loaded to your account. Please don't leave this page until you receive the OK status for all four rows. This should not take more than 10 minutes. If you don't notice all the OK within this time, please review your settings. Also, make some test calls with your PBX to include a few incoming and outgoing. If the issue is still unresolved, please schedule a free remote installation service by clicking the button below. After a few minutes, you should receive 4 OK and Windows change to the following message on your screen. Congratulations! Please click on the Finish button to access your calls dashboard. You can make as many as 50 dashboards as you want in the PBX DOM. You can add up to 12 widgets in each dashboard from more than 60 available widgets. Also, you can share a read-only dashboard all across your entire organization. Finally, you can find a complete set of reports, charts and reports, and chart section at this link. I hope this video helps you to find a very easy solution for making a real-time dashboard for asterisk-based systems.